After spending two months in Shanghai, we have grown accustomed to the area, food, and traffic patterns. During our recent trip to Taiwan, we realized that many of these features were present there in different forms. As soon as we got off the plane, we noticed that there was an impressive number of people driving around Taipei on their scooters, wearing helmets. And staying perfectly inside the lines on the road. In Shanghai, we have noticed more people riding bicycles and taking public transportation as a means of getting around. While scooters have a presence in Shanghai, they are not as widely used as in Taiwan. Taiwanese use their scooters on all kinds of streets and pathways, as they are versatile and relatively affordable. We were intrigued as to the immense popularity of the scooters, and met with a Taiwanese friend of Chai Lu's to discuss her take on the issue. Okay, my name is Joanne.、Um, I'm Taiwanese. This is my scooter. He is uh, almost twenty、uh, two years old, and、uh, I love him. This is my jacket for drive. Motorcycle or scooter? I show you how to wear it. It's very just like your jacket. Okay, and then don't laugh, please. <laughs> okay, so you won't have a suntan. Shit. Then, if you worry about your face, you won't have a fair skin. You must be do this one. Then wear your helmet. So for us, it's just for convenience and、uh, um, to、um, easier to parking in our life. So we sell them to com- competition our motorcycle. No, every everybody every family have a almost. Ninety, I think ninety, ninety-five percent family got the motorcycle in Taiwan, especially in Taichung, Kaohsiung. After interviewing Joanne about her feelings toward her scooter and scooter culture in general, as well as some of the mechanics of how to use the scooter, we decided it was only fair that we try it for ourselves. Chai Lu was a brave driver, and I was a hesitant passenger, but nonetheless, we hopped on.